we've got Colton Cole with us, legend of West Ham United, a friend of NBC. Colton, what have you made of your first fan fest here in Philadelphia? It's been unbelievable, I'm not going to lie to you, Robbie, but first and foremost, before we get, let's get to the festivities. You've got to be a sponsored West Ham fan now, so there's your scarf. Just, there's just for this chat. Thank you. Oh, oh, this, chat. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is it. This is it. We've got West Ham fans in the house now. <laughs> OK. And now I can talk to you. <laughs> OK, so let's talk West Ham United. Um, kind of a slow start this season, given the success of last year and David Moyes, what a job he's done at the football club. Why was it such a, or has it been a slow start at West Ham for this season? Because we've um, brought in new players. Um, sometimes, you know how it is when you've got new players, it takes time for them to bed in try and get the culture of the club um, and, and, and where we are right now you can see that it's, it's coming back that feeling that winning feeling is coming back so everything's got moving in the right direction and um, I'm just happy to be here to share it with you guys so we know you're a big striker yeah Gianluca Scamacca just started to find his way into the side give us a little I don't know sense of what you've seen of him so far and what you think of him listen he's one of those old school Set Why are you looking forwards. at me saying old school? Old school. <laughs> He's one of those old school centre forwards, a little bit like myself, so I appreciate his game. He's going to score you goals, he knows where the goal is, and he's strong. He can flick the ball on as well when the ball comes into it. He can take it down on his chest. He's a top, top player. He's, you got to understand, we've got Ita the Italian number nine, playing f in number nine, starting number nine, yeah. playing for West Ham. That shows you how far West Ham have gone. It's a good point, Colin. We know the work that's happening on the pitch with David Moyes and the team. Well, talk to us a little bit about the work that West Ham are doing off the pitch. We were at a school here in Philadelphia on Friday with kids where you're using football to deliver messages. You work in schools in the UK. Talk to us a little bit about the work that's going on in schools with the football club. Listen, the Premier League have been a massive point of um, contact with being um, in the community. So is West Ham. West Ham have always, West Ham have always been one of those um, teams where there's, it's a community-based team. So when we go to these schools, these schools are the ones that count because they're the, the future. So we've, I've gone into a few um, Philly schools over here, and they've shown the enthusiasm for soccer, and it's just I've been taken back by it, and the kids need it. And you, you put a great smile on these kids' faces the other day, and you made them feel happy, and that's the main thing. Oh, West Ham going to be smiling at the end of the season. Where can David Moyes take this team in terms of Premier League and maybe in Europe? He can, he can listen, if he gets top, top 10 and we have a great um, European run, I think, I think the, the world is our oyster. I think everyone will be happy with top 10 to 8 and then we'll go again next season and try and build from that. Carlton, thank you so much, mate, for joining us here today in Philadelphia. Got a great time. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. For even more Premier League content from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you over there.